We have a decent wind, not a not a huge wind, but a decent one from the southeast, and it's uh, it should hold up. So we're making more of an arrowhead sort of pattern, or you know, a, a no, pretty much an arrowhead hole in the bottom there. Longer leg on that side too, because the wind is blowing this way right now. We want to pull the birds across the rig so that everybody can get a shot at them, and. Uh, we're spreading the silhouettes out. It's one of the tricks that that is so important with with decoys in general. Most people just put them out too tight. They they put a decoy down and then take a step and put a decoy down, and take a step. And if you observe birds in the field, as we do when we're scouting, you'll see the individual bird. And we try to compare what we see in the live birds to our spreads. And the hardest thing to do is to make your decoy spread spread out. The uh, the tendency, and what we see with most people's rigs, and sometimes our own when we're, when we're in a hurry, is that they look like a blob, just a dark spot. That helps you attract birds from a distance because they see the, the knot of birds, but as they get closer, it's too compressed for the birds to get comfortable. And we found that as we spread our decoys out, we put these 10 feet apart uh, as a minimum. Uh, people would think I'm crazy with that, but when you spread them out like that, you'll watch birds land right in the rig. So we have an arrowhead pattern, went from the southeast, spreading the, the decoys out. Um, we've got a few white birds here, primarily dark uh, birds, Canada's and Specs. And uh, we're going to see what we can do. The birds should actually be coming from those lights over there. That's a small town with, with a couple of big roost ponds around it. It's about four miles away, actually. And there are some that will come from behind us. We're just going to give it a try. Once again, we're using an arrowhead pattern of 12 dozen real geese Pro Series Canada's, 3 dozen real geese Pro Series Specs, about 40 full bodies, and a few white shells for the snow geese. And we always use Final Approach X-Lander blinds. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Shooting guys. <laughs> now, what could possibly make Kevin stop calling? Oh. That was a beautiful thing. Woo! I'm sorry. I'm sorry they were that close. That was beautiful. Big wave showing big wave out front. Concentrating on one bunch, the other bunch sneaks in the left side. 
Oh. That's all you got to say about Canada right there. That's it. I guess I didn't shoot on that bunch. I'm sitting here trying to load a gun that I never even shot. And that other, you see that other, that, that first group coming, that second group slid over top of them, and they were right in front of us, 20, 20 feet in front of us. I'm hunting here. Oh, that was incredible. <laughs> Good shooting. Pick up. Pick up. We got a lot of birds out here. Run for the back. Now. <laughs> Mr. Knox. Bad specs. Mr. Knox. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. What a beautiful thing. That is that. What Isn't that something? Thing. What a treat. Oh, what a treat. <laughs> Those birds really hit Keith Sam like this. Fathers, sons, best friends, and waterfowl. Can it get any better? <laughs>